everyone, it's Karina. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new day. Welcome to Christmas Eve day. So, um, I have a small grocery haul for you today and it mainly consists of like, the main reason I went out was to get some spices because we're going to spice up our Christmas dinner a little. Um, I'm going to step out of my realm of just using salt and pepper and use some other spices. So I'll show you what we got. And it's going to be for uh, smothered chicken quarter legs or leg quarters, whatever it's called. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, let me turn around and show you what we got. Okay, folks, so uh, this is our very small grocery haul. I said it was a small one, so it is a small one. All right, so I'll go over what we got and why I got it. Okay, so first um, we have this thing of shrimp cocktail. It comes with the sauce in the middle. This is 20 count. And um, the only reason I got it was it's, it was on sale. So we like to eat this. And Glenn likes to use the sauce. And I just dip mine in melted butter. So uh, we're just going to snack on that for Christmas. Might be uh, tonight for Christmas Eve or tomorrow for Christmas Day. So I just got that. It was on sale. And then I got this. Uh, looks weird looking but this is a holiday sausage it's basically a summer sausage but they call it a holiday sausage uh, Glenn used to eat this uh, I guess every year growing up for Christmas and every Christmas we try to go ahead and get that for him so so we got that and then we were running low on eggs so I got a uh, 18 count large eggs and then uh, I got some German potato salad for Glenn and he's going to have that tonight with some uh, wieners cut up in uh, baked beans. And he'll have the German potato salad with that. And then we got two packs of turkey gravy mix. And I'll let you know what we're going to do with that. And I got some crab legs. Not crab legs, but ba basically imitation crab flakes. But they're just in sticks. And that's for my uh, crab spray. Uh, crab flake spread on Ritz crackers and cream cheese and I got some more cocktail sauce actually I'll get to the spices at the end um, I went ahead and bought some I know I usually buy bottled soda uh, the 16 ounce bo plastic bottles but sometimes I just like to have pop open a can and just drink it out of a can um, so I bought, uh, and they were on sale, that's the only reason I bought them. I bought two 12-packs of Coke and two 12-packs of Mountain Dew. Sometimes we like to drink Coke. Coke used to be our favorite over Pepsi, but then um, Pepsi changed her taste a little bit, so now we kind of go back and forth. All right, and I bought Kitty some of uh, their stuff to stock up on their food. And I bought two of these lint rollers. And that's because we have cats and we get fur everywhere. So when they like to lay on me or whatever, um, they're long-haired cats, so their fur gets everywhere. So I like to basically run the roller on my clothes after they're done laying on me so I don't have a bunch of uh, fur, you know, all over my clothes or in my face or whatever. So I bought those. Now what happened was I ordered some some of those lint rollers on Amazon. Uh, they were a different brand, never heard of them, but they were cheaper, and so I had ordered them. So that's what I have right now before I bought these two. Well, they're basically crap. So <laughs> I'm gonna send them back because they are crap. Um, the rolls constantly roll off the holder Every time I, I run it on across my shirt or something, the roll just starts rolling off, so I constantly have to put it on. So I'm going to send them back, and meanwhile, I just bought these, which were on sale. See, a lot of the stuff I like to buy when it's on sale. All right, we got this uh, eight count, and it says hamburger buns, but we actually use them as rolls. We use them for hamburgers also, but they're so soft. We love these, and this came from our local meat market. Uh, where I got this uh, holiday sausage and the German potato salad. So they have the best rolls. So what we're going to do with that is 
for lunch, Glenn is going to just cut some of this, or we are, cut some of this uh, holiday sausage. It, it's basically like a summer sausage, and we're going to put some butter on these rolls, and we're going to have a, a sandwich with this uh, holiday sausage. So that's what that's for. And then we bought two cans of uh, candy DMs. We're going to have that with our Christmas dinner. And I'll explain what that Christmas dinner is going to be in a minute. And then I bought uh, Bertoli Extra Virgin Olive Oil. This is a smaller bottle. And that was actually on sale. So that's why I picked that up. Um, we used to have some olive oil and then we ran out and I haven't bought it since because it's a little expensive. But this was on sale for a couple dollars so I couldn't pass that up. I should check the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree might have some of that stuff. If anybody knows for sure, drop that comment. And I bought some seasonings. Well, the cocktail sauce, obviously, um, for the crab spread and the shrimp. And then I bought some seasonings to add to what we already have. So I got some Montreal chi uh, chicken seasoning. Sorry, it's not focusing there. And then I got some smoked paprika uh, smoked Spanish paprika and I got all-purpose seasoning Greek seasoning got some parsley flakes Italian seasoning and just regular paprika the other one was smoked this is just paprika and in addition uh, to what we already have we we're going to be using uh, garlic powder onion powder salt pepper red crushed red peppers and that might be it so and that's where this turkey gravy packet comes in as well so that's basically everything that uh, i got at the store but what we're going to do for our christmas dinner is we're going to make did i already say that yeah i think i did smothered chicken quarter legs i'm probably saying the quarter legs backwards leg quarters quarter legs doesn't matter they're all the same so all these seasonings are going to be involved in rubbing on the chicken skin itself and the turkey gravy uh, it's going to be basically like a thicker gravy we're going to add chicken bouillon to, to it and some water and some flour to thicken it up and then we're going to pour it inside the dish where the chicken is where basically the chicken is already done we're going to pour this on the side but inside not all over the chicken and then put it in for a little longer and it's going to be good i think it's going to be good but we're going to use all these seasonings in that chicken so i am stepping out of my comfort zone of just using salt and pepper now glenn has always been one to use different seasonings he likes seasonings but i think he just uh Let's it go with the salt and pepper because he knows that's per pretty much what I I like. So I'm gonna step out of my comfort zone and I'm gonna try this. Okay, so all right. Okay, so I am making our holiday sausage lunches for lunch here, and I got these rolls that I just did in the little grocery haul. Got my butter on them. I got one for Glenn and one for myself. And Glenn's gonna have some uh, horse radish mustard sorry not focusing all right he's gonna have that on his sandwich just a little bit and we actually eat this a lot not the holiday sausage in particular but summer sausage in the summertime when we go camping and fishing we actually I make pre-make them and then put them in baggies and then we take that for lunch when we go out so and this is what the holiday sausage looks like again it's just like a summer sausage and then I'm just gonna layer it I'll put one over here and then give him he likes them a little thinner maybe a smaller one over here And I'll put on mine 
I'll take them a little thicker, but I think I'll just put one piece. The good thing about this holiday sausage, it's it's big and round in girth. So it just takes one slice to put on my sandwich there. All right, and that's all there is to it. We're having a holiday sausage lunch. All right, see you guys later. Okay, so that is our very small grocery haul. I said it was a small one. So, um, like I said, my main reason uh, for going out was the seasonings and the, the holiday sausage. Um, so, we're going to, for Christmas dinner, we're going to have the smothered chicken, uh, chicken legs, chicken quarter legs. And we're going to make some mashed potatoes and candied yams. So, that's going to be for our Christmas dinner on Christmas Day. And tonight being uh, Christmas Eve, we're just going to basically eat real easy. Like I got the shrimp, I can make my crab flakes. Uh, Glenn's going to have the wieners and baked beans tonight. So it's going to be kind of a munch night on Christmas Eve. And today during the day, Christmas Eve day, I'm going to be baking some cookies. So I'm going to make our Christmas cutout cookies, make the frosting. And I even might make some uh, my chocolate fudge crinkle cookies with the walnuts. Those were super good. I love those. So I might make some of those too. Okay, so that's what our Christmas Eve and Christmas Day looks like. I hope you're all having a great Christmas Eve and you have a great Christmas Day. So remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time, Merry Christmas.